recently that I have some new subscribers and I just want to say thank you it appears that my viewers has increased and again I want to say thank you and it also appears that I am being notified a little bit more often but I didn't receive very many comments this time so I just want you to know that I thank you for everything but please continue to comment and hit the notification bell whenever you view my channel please remember to subscribe in case you're not aware I am Love of Fragrance and on this particular channel I generally make recommendations of fragrance that I just love because of the fact that I am truly a love of fragrance not necessarily just body fragrances but a large variation of all type of fragrance scents I admire them I consistently utilize them and my love for them is so abundant until the point where I just want to share that love with you but to my subject title, title today, which happens to be Oriental Fragrances. Oriental Fragrances, yes, that's right, Oriental Fragrances. When I say that, many individuals would think that I'm speaking of the Orient, like Asia and Japan or something. But no, honey, Oriental Fragrances extend much deeper and farther than that. It also extends to the Middle Eastern countries as well, such as Lebanon, Turkey, Yemen, Kuwait, Iraq. All of those countries are considered Middle Eastern countries and they're classified as Oriental fragrances because there are so many ingredients and products that are utilized from those who originate a fragrance with the specific notes that this fragrance requires in order to classify it as being oriental and those notes consist of animal wildlife balsamic type notes vanilla notes um sweet notes maybe cinnamon, yang yang, various types of notes. So it's pretty difficult to make a complete distinction of exactly what fragrances are considered oriental. But generally, it consists of notes with wildlife, some sweetness applied to it as well, and also some earthy base notes such as some type of wooded notes. Those are generally considered your oriental spice notes. And it has to be an exceptional amount of spiciness applied to it as well. And so I have selected several fragrances for you here today, consisting of one, two, three, four, six fragrances that I am going to present to you today that I have that are specifically oriental fragrances and the first one that I have for you today happens to be by Ms. Izzy Miyaki and it's an oriental floral aquatic fragrance that consists of oriental notes and these oriental notes are a whiff of excessive floral roses an abundance of floral roses with an opening of pear and the middle notes consist of jasmine and apricot and seawater and the base notes consist of a wildlife and some type of a sandalwood and these notes in this particular fragrance are exceptionally unique and distinctive in its own right it has a, such a wonderful, warm, enticing aroma applied to it that you would find exceptionally appealing. I find it exceptionally, and, oh my God, it's beautiful. 
is lovely and very attractive oriental flavored and the way that it smells it has a consistency of being a fragrance that has that oriental flair applied to it and it's very 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 prominent in the scent that this fragrance projects it projects a very beautiful it isn't documented that it has powder in here, but I can detect some powdery scents applied toward this fragrance that makes it exceptionally beautiful to possess. Mm, it smells lovely. It smells exceptionally lovely. It has an exceptional aroma to it to the point where you would definitely appreciate it. It has that atmospheric aroma that allows you to wear this fragrance on any occasion but it has an aroma that's going to be very attractive and very alluring but yet it's still very distinctive one that you will find very attractive and admirable and anyone that detects this fragrance are you going to have the same perception it's lovely to wear it's lovely to possess mm. it's a beautiful container it's very feminine very attractive very adorable I highly admire this fragrance because honey is something about it to me that's exceptionally motivational. It grants you an exceptional amount of motivation when you apply this fragrance. It grants you the opportunity to feel exquisitely lovely and divine all at the same time. It has an aroma that's enticing. I mean it's going to be alluring. It's going to grant you the complimentaries that one would expect from a fragrance in other words it does not go unnoticeable it does not go undetected it does not appear to be aggressive toward anyone so therefore it's going to be very appealing to anyone that detect this fragrance on your body because of the alluring and the lovely inviting scent which it possesses. like i said it's very warm very pleasing and very attractive i highly recommend izzy miyaki fragrance to you and I have another one and on to the next one okay and the next one I have available to you happens to be without any without any hesitation I am so excited to bring this fragrance to you and this fragrance is by none other than YSL and it's opium it isn't black opium I keep telling you all the time about black opium and I don't even possess black opium this is the only opium I have and I've given you the story I brought this to you several times and I've given you the details and the story of exactly how I feel about this fragrance honey so I'm not going to even go through all of the excitement and the accolades of my love for this particular fragrance but you know if I'm bringing it to you and I'm recommending it to you I definitely love the fragrance I love me some YSL all of them I love it love it love it love it love it mm. this one I am completely satisfied with this fragrance as a matter of fact it's been buried in the back of my collection and I don't like to forget about my fragrance but I haven't pulled this one out in quite some time and when I took the cap off of this I got excited mm, I fell so in love all over again I was so excited and oh god and I was oh my god oh oh ooh, it just came back to me how much I love this fragrance, how much I appreciate this fragrance, and how much I have had an admiration for this fragrance and this company for so long. This here happens to be one of my signature scents, but I want you to know, but this here is YSL Opium, not Black Opium, not any of the other fancy names of their company. This here is just one of their additions, and this here is an original Black Opium. And this is a designer's fragrance, and this here is an EDP. Yes, definitely. And it has a beautiful scent applied to it, and it's also an oriental fragrance because you'll find that majority of your oriental fragrance comes to you with a very, very fluent, fluent, fragrant bouquet of full notes applied to it. And not only that, it falls within a specific category and it falls within that balsamic atmospheric arena 
because of the type of notes that it has within it. And with these fragrances I'm introducing you to today, I'm not going into all the specifics of the notes and everything and the categories and everything that they fall into. I'm just going to let you know the you know the oriental notes that are applied within these fragrances. And with this one, you get an extensive amount of balsamic notes within this fragrance. And it, it has an aromatic atmosphere to apply to water, which consists of a sweetness, an exceptional amount of sweetness, which happens to be extended tones of amber, vanilla, and patchouli. And if that's what constitutes this exquisitely lovely scent, let's apply to this fragrance here. It's exceptionally lovely, and I highly love it, and I highly recommend it to you. I don't have on any fragrance right now, and I have many others to present to you. But I'm going to apply this one on because I love it so much and I love it when I can turn my hair like this and get a whiff of my fragrance and it has such a projectile scent to the point where I do not even have to place it on any of my other sensitive areas on my body. I can just place it right here in those two particular areas and it would be so satisfactory all day long because of the fact that all I have to do is this and I don't have to wait for anyone to compliment me honey I can compliment myself because it's penetrating so loud and it has such an extensive longevity applied to it I don't have to get into the notes or anything honey because all of these beautiful notes are just penetrating and flowing all over my body right now and I am so appreciative of this fragrance because it has that projection. It has that power. It's powerful. Exceptionally powerful. With the penetration in this flooring fragrance, I'm going to put some more on. Well, maybe not. It's loud. <laughs> it's very loud. <laughs> and it makes me happy. When I can apply a fragrance to my body and I get exactly what a fragrance is supposed to do. It's supposed to give you a pleasant aroma. It's supposed to give you an appreciation for the scent. <coughs> Excuse me. And that one does all of that. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And the next one I'm going to bring to you happens to be blueberry. And blueberry here is a beautiful fragrance. But this is one of my more primitive fragrances. Let me move this out of the way right here. This right here, one of my most primitive fragrances. But with this one, as you can see, I have had some luxury in having possession of this fragrance because I've been utilizing it consistently at one point. When, I don't know, like I said, it's was buried in the back of the collection as well. Oh, God. Now, this is complicated. When you go from one fragrance that you know, you have that oh adoration for and then you go to another one that has a totally unique and indifferent scent now blueberry here it's an oriental fragrance but it has a completely distinctive unique scent applied toward it so indifferent from the black oh not black oh 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 not black from so indifferent from opium it's it's a beautiful scent but now see I messed myself up because I have the black opium, I mean the opium on me. And I can't put this one on and it's the opium so loud I can't smell it hardly. But this here is an oriental scent and this one I use obvious. It has some black currant in it. This um, this here bullberry fragrance come to you with an exceptional amount of black currant in it. It's a very fragrant floral aroma as well consisting of an exceptional amount of emancipated scented notes within it consisting of florals and pears and black currant and deep musk and it leaves you with the impression of a musky vanilla at the heart of this particular fragrance so i want you to know that it's a beautiful fragrance but it has a very very musty musky 
aroma applied to it and it's mixed with vanilla but the overall the musk and the vanilla are the main projection of this fragrance but I still highly recommend it to you because of the fact if you're in your business for oriental fragrance or prefer to have an oriental fragrance this one here is a nice consideration okay and my next fragrance I would like to present to you happens to be Oh my God, I'm Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs Decadson. Honey, this is definitely an oriental fragrance because of the oriental notes are generally consist of some type of, like I told you before, you want to look for the animal wildlife. You're going to look for the floral content in it. You're going to also look for some type of sweetness in it. But it's going to predominantly consist of some um, vanillas. Okay, and in this one, you don't smell any vanilla. This is a deep, 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 dark fragrance. Mark Jacob Dexter has a, a little bit of fruitiness applied toward it, but more so than that, it predominantly consists of iris and plums and jasmine and some type of orris roots as well. So you're going to get a more, I would say, coarse scent from this fragrance that's more dominant yes and it has the amber in here happens displaying a great deal of suppression in other words it's suppressed by the vetiver this fragrance has a great deal of more i would say this dominant notes are more coarse notes like the harder notes like the vetiver like the sandalwood dark notes like wood notes and so which would consist of predominantly your your oo notes which are your wooded notes and so it gives it that green scent a green earthy tight scent but it's a beautiful scent and i'm sure you would love it but just remember it's an oriental fragrance so you don't have to look too far for oriental fragrances because this here, Mark Jacob Dexter, give you all the orient that you could ever attain, and I highly recommend it to you. And my next fragrance consists of Calvin Klein Obsession. I brought this one to you before as well, and this right here looks like um, I said a pyramid or an Aladdin's lamp. It's so gorgeous. I think it's adorable, but. Oh, it looks like a genie lamp. Yeah, Latin lamp looks like a little genie going to pop out there any minute, doesn't it? Hmm, I dream of genie. I remember seeing her puppeting out of a lamp look like this. <laughs> yes. What was her name? Barbara Eaton? Yeah, girl, I remember you. I used to love your show. <laughs> it was gorgeous. It was so wonderful. Very entertaining. But, yeah. This here looks like an Aladdin lamp or a gypsy or genie lamp or whatever, but either way, it's a beautiful container. Mm -hmm. But the fragrance inside is more so enticing and such a lovely scent. Mr. Kevin Klein, I wanted you to know, I think I told you before how much I love this fragrance, and I am not lying. It's beautiful. The way it's originated, it's beautiful. It's a lovely scent. And then, oh God, did I give you the name? The name of this fragrance happened to be Calvin Klein's Secret Obsession. It's that he has so many editions of Obsession, but this one is called Secret Obsession, and it happens to be an Oriental fragrance, and that's why I'm bringing it to you today because of the, it's Oriental. And at the time before, I was not aware that it was Oriental. Now that I know, I wanted to include it in this segment because it definitely falls into that category if it's oriental and even look oriental doesn't it like it's from uh, Japan or China the Orient or Asia or somewhere like that yes it's gorgeous but more so than that the scent consists of an, abs an abundance of floral notes oriental floral capacities impounded in this particular container right here consistent of an exceptional amount of nutmeg and plums and amber and jasmine oh my god it's lovely and it has some beautiful notes in it but also more so than that you can also smell a hint of vanilla not only that it has a 
uh, some type of wood base in this as well but it originates a lovely beautiful attractive aroma to the point where you will adore it so i highly recommend mr calvin klein obsession to you as well okay moving right along i have another fragrance here that you know what it's an oriental floral because of the notes which are in here and this here happens to be a, a classic fragrance to me is oh, where am i to me is very classic and it's oscar de la renta and here we have a beautiful distinctive fragrance and it scents amazing it's exceptionally amazing it's so unique and oh my god what happened to my opium i'm looking for longevity now oh i guess i've oh my god excuse me i have put on smelled so many fragrances more than one and more than two and in my sinuses the one that i love the most it disappears and that's really not nice i don't appreciate that i don't appreciate the fragrance disappearing on me like that because i am trying to give, give a description on these fragrances and that motivates me that gives me incentive to be able to translate this information to you when i have a whiff of a fragrance i love on me and for some reason today it isn't functioning my opium has dissipated completely dissipated on my body i was like oh prissy and happy to have my opium on and i'm looking for it now and i can't find it girl where did you go <laughs> but anyways this one here is penetrating really loud this here oscar de la renta oh <sighs> it's a lovely scent this fragrance has lemon in it i don't have any notes in front of me right now but i can tell you exactly what's in it it's vanilla in it it has some jasmine it has some wood based notes in it as well and it smells like it has some patchouli but more so than that there's some lemon associated with this fragrance and it has a floral fruity um projection as well mm. the composition of this fragrance happens to be exceptionally lovely and i really do have an admiration for this fragrance for any time that i can smell a fragrance and it when you smell it 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 has a tendency to suppress all of the other notes around you that means it's a very highly quality fragrance and it has some exceptionally dominating notes within it and with that being said I want you to know that I highly recommend Mr. Oscar De La Renta fragrance to you. I love it, and I'm sure you will too. But not only that, I recommend all of these here Oriental fragrances that I have presented to you today. I highly recommend them to you. And I highly recommend that you attain them and add them to your fragrance collection because I'm sure you will love them just as much as I do. And I thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And please remember to continue to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.